What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use our sweatshirt hoodie mockups. Uh, I'm gonna be demonstrating the front view, but we also have a back view and an angled view that this comes with. Um, so if you go to our store here, you'll see we have the sweatshirt hoodie template mockups, and you get the front view, back view, and angled view for 1580. I'm also gonna be using the Template FC uh, 2020, 2021 patterns pack part two. Um, there's a part one of this, but I'm going to be using a pattern from this in our little design here, because we're going to be doing a Dortmund sweatshirt. Um, but before we get into the actual design, if we go to Photoshop and I go to the front view, this is the one we're going to be creating. And let me just turn off all the designs quick. I'm going to press command H to hide our guide. If I zoom in here, you'll notice we have a nice clean texture on this hoodie right now. Uh, but we can actually come in and switch the lighting mode to a textured one. So this one is like the heathered gray kind of texture. So uh, if you guys are, aren't familiar with heathered gray, I'm sure you would be if you saw it, but it looks something like this. And it's a common sweatshirt material, so we included it here for you guys. But you can also use it on any color. It does not have to be a gray, obviously, because you get to choose your colors here. Um, and you also have labels. So um, you have the label inside the shirt, obviously. And also you have one on the pocket here. And you can turn those off or add your own custom designs there. Uh, and it's all pretty easy. But I'm going to go ahead and flip back to our normal lighting and let's go ahead and design a sweatshirt. So the first thing we're going to do, which is what I always do, is open up the front design layer and we're going to add in our logos and get our colors. So you would have seen me pull, uh, have this Dortmund logo pulled up. So let me go ahead and just drop this in here and we'll go ahead and center it. And it's actually exactly the same size as the logo that's in here. That's perfect. Um, I'm going to come over to my colors and just select this yellow, have it saved. I'm actually going to copy that hex code with command C and cool. We can then delete everything else. If we're not going to use it, you might want to leave the grid there if you need a guide, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it, save it and hop into uh, the mock-up look again. Uh, by the way, you need to save this layer in order for it to update over here. So let's go ahead and open up the colors group and we'll pick our colors. So the Dorman logo is majority yellow, so I'm actually gonna go with a black sweatshirt. So let's go to base, make that black, and I'm actually gonna come up and hide the designs uh, for a second so we can make sure we get all our colors right. Bottom band, we'll make yellow, just to make it a little more interesting. Front, black, uh, left cup, we'll make that yellow, and right cuff yellow. From pocket, we're just going to hide it because it's going to be the same color as our sweatshirt. Left sleeve, I guess we'll just do everything else black. Um, maybe the insides we make yellow, I think that would be kind of cool. And strings will make yellow, string ends will make white. And the metallic part is the little buttons uh, or the little holes where the strings come out of. And we can make that a little brighter metal like that. And then the stitches will make black so it blends in. And cool. I think I'm happy with those colors. Uh, let's go ahead and check on our smart objects and get to the designs part. So I have the front design or the, uh, yeah, the front design already open. So let's go to our patterns pack and let me find the Dortmund pattern. And it's right here, the Dortmund home. And it's actually a shape. So if we drag this over, uh, let's bring it below our logo. We can scale this up and it will keep its resolution because it is a shape. So that's really handy with the shape patterns. I think that's a pretty good size. Let's double click on it and make it yellow since our sweatshirt's black. It's kind of a reverse of their actual kit. And let's save this and see what this looks like. So that's looking pretty cool. It's, it has very much the Electa Buzz Pokemon look if you guys are familiar with that. It's pretty big. We could scale it down a little bit. Um, I think maybe something like that would be slightly better. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and add that to other parts of our sweatshirt. I'm going to go ahead and quit the patterns pack because we don't need it. I'm going to close out of my other templates I have open. Let me open up the pocket design and let's go ahead and drag the pattern over, hide everything else. And I'm just going to save this. You could line it up with the design here, but I am not. And you'll notice, uh, if this is invisible, we still have the pattern uh, over top of the pocket, but if we make it visible, this pattern overlays with it. So it looks kind of interesting. Now, both 
uh, patterns are overlaying on top of it, uh, on top of each other and you can see them both and I kind of don't want that I want the pocket to be its own design so I'm gonna add a background to that smart object and save it so now it's its own design and that looks much better and let's actually go ahead and bring this up to like there so it almost lines up and yeah that's pretty good uh, let's go to the sleeves next I'm gonna close the pocket and I'm gonna do the upper right sleeve the lower right sleeve, uh, upper left, and lower left. Cool, let's go to our design and drag this over. Again, let's hide everything else. And I'm gonna press Command T on this layer and kind of get the top left of this set up there, cool. Save that, drag it over to the lower right sleeve. Zoom out with Command minus again, press Command T. And so this was the top right, let's go uh, down a little and get the bottom of that so that's the bottom right and that should look pretty good yeah that lines up pretty nicely let's go ahead and add that to the upper left sleeve layer zoom out hide these command T and let's set this up there save that bring it to the lower left hide them once more so this was what the lower left was let's get this part right there cool and that all lines up and looks pretty good obviously it doesn't line up exactly with the front uh, design but that's okay because these sleeves wouldn't really line up on a sweatshirt design anyway um, we could go ahead and add logos and things to this too so if I close the lower left sleeves and maybe go and grab the Bundesliga logo and let's go ahead to the upper right sleeve grab this guy and we'll put him off to the side here because it wouldn't be fully visible uh, but if we did something like that yeah there you go you have a nice sleeve logo maybe make it a little bit smaller save it bring it to the other sleeve the left sleeve do the same thing and that one has to come in a little bit more and yeah there we go there's some sleeve logos real simple and obviously on the angled view uh, you get a little more visibility on that sleeve which is nice and we could continue to add more logos and things. Uh, let's go ahead and add this design to the hood though and I'll show you how that looks because the hood can be a little wonky because it's not standing up, it's laying down. Um, let's also, you can add a design to the cuff and the bottom trim. The bottom trim is two smart layers that line up perfectly so you can have two designs that match up. Um, we're not gonna be adding designs there though. We'll leave them solid and the same with the cuffs but you do have those options. And let's go ahead and just open up the hood smart layers and add our design over. So I'm gonna add the left part of it here and then more of the right part here. Now it's basically gonna be the same thing anyway, but it should look all right. Yeah, there you go. There's not much lining up because you can't see it from one side to the other, but you can see that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm thinking maybe the trim at the bottom should be black and the cuffs could be black it's kind of whatever really up to what you guys think it should look like when you're creating your own um, the last thing we'll do here is mess with the labels so let's open up the labels um, you can see this is it without them and this is it with them it might make sense here for these to be black because it would kind of fit in but also I think white looks fine so we'll stay with that and we could have these not visible or visible it's up to you when you're creating it so uh, we'll open up them both and have them both visible and this is probably where you put like a Puma logo since Puma produces Dortmund's uh, stuff they'd probably have their logo in the label part here but obviously for creating your designs, you would have your own uh, logo. So we have the template FC logo here, but you can add whatever. And you can even add a design to it. So if we add the grid here, it will take up the whole label, as you can see here. And it looks pretty good. And maybe we wanna go to the textured look. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's a little different, um, pretty cool. But you can see that is the sweatshirt mockup. That's how you go about creating a sweatshirt. Uh, I'm actually going to put a black stroke on this real fast because I think the yellow outline is a bit wonky. Okay. 
And that's the tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel for more. Be sure to check out our website, templatefc.com for the best sports mockups for Photoshop. We also have patterns for Illustrator and Photoshop and a bunch of other things. So be sure to check that out. Follow us on Twitter at templatefc and our Instagram, templatefc as well. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.